our whole seminary experience is a spiritual exercise because it draws us to God, it draws us closer to God, to a greater understanding of who God is in our own lives and a better relationship with our God. And that's, that's, what, we're, that's what all this is about. The fraternity here is something that's just unparalleled. The sense of community, the sense of being a, like a church here at the hilltop, I would say is the highlight for me. Getting to live with roughly 170 other guys who I consider my brothers, and we live as brothers and we care for each other as brothers. Oftentimes we'll just encounter each other in, in hallways or in the, the dining hall, and we'll get into these deep discussions about life, of vocation, God, um, past lives, you know, before seminary, um, how we're feeling, how we're doing. And not only up here, but in the pastoral ministries that we go out and do during our time at seminary and during the summers, and to see parishioners or people at, at other Catholic parishes or even, even sites that aren't Catholic at all, and to see the, the dignity of those people as children of God. They offer that opportunity as well for seminarians to go and visit to the homebound, being with them, to pray for them, know their stories, and to really know in what way we could be of help especially through prayer. The hospital ministries and prison ministries that many of us are involved in and our pastoral placements that have given us the opportunity not only to learn how to serve, but also to practically serve other people. It's the day-to-day it's the -day interaction with the parishioners and be involved in their lives that really reinforced my desire to be a priest of this is the life that I want. This is the life that God maybe is really calling me. Because as amazing as seminary is and as uh, necessary the formation is to, to building priesthood, getting to go out into a parish and getting to see the joy that that priest exudes, how he, how he works with parishioners, um, really, really, was, was good for me to see in terms of my discernment and thinking, you know, I want to be, you know, do I want to be like this priest? Do I want to, to live this lifestyle? Is this what God is calling me to? Um, and I think the takeaway was, yeah. <laughs> the biggest challenge is to manage time, but to manage time in such a way that we don't give up the aspects of formation that we're required to. Uh, one of the easiest temptations is to say, oh, I'm so busy, I can't actually make my prayer, my prayers today. And so the challenge is to put that prayer life first so that through God and through that relationship with God, we can continue throughout the day with our all in all, giving everything to God. I couldn't imagine seminary without the Benedictine influence. Really their, their motto of ora et labora is really a, a great model for, for me as a seminarian in that I put my prayer first um, in my life and then after that I, I get to work. Living here with the monks, Frankly, I can't imagine seminary experience without it. Um, it's, it's that important to me. I think um, the same goes for a lot of seminarians. At the beginning of each, of each year, we're invited as seminarians to come and watch these monks go through their simple professions and their solemn professions where they <clears throat> give, they promise God, especially during the solemn professions, for the rest of their lives to be part of this community and to live as close to a, a life of heaven as we can here on earth. Uh, in that monastic life, and it helps me to move on to at the beginning of each year to see these these monks enter uh, <laughs> with their all uh, into this relationship with God. A monastic school is receiving the students like Christ, reading the Word of God with them, praying with them, teaching them the Word of God, teaching them to pray, and then teaching them humanity, teaching them good existence and, and life together. Priests need to learn how to be good at hospitality, to, to receive with welcome whoever comes, and to give, them, to give them a place. So that if our priests learn that from the monastic tradition, uh, they've, they've learned a lot. The professors are really engaging. They'll, um, not only will they um, try to help you through your question, but also direct you towards other resources or suggest that as a, as a place of further research. But my professor cha really challenged me. He didn't give up. 
he did not back down, if you may. But he was always giving me that inspiration. Oh, Anthony, you can do better. Going to mass, going to prayers, and you see this, this uh, young men from different backgrounds, from different nationalities even, being called by God to be a priest of Jesus Christ, to serve the church. One of the activities on the hilltop that really keeps me going every day is our daily celebration of the Eucharist. It has inspired me. It's, it was, it keeps me in touch with God. It gives me the sense of God who loves me all the time. It gives me the sense of God who again, gave up himself for me, who served in order to give me life. To all who have formed us, to all who have prayed for us, to all who have gave their blessings in order for us to, to continue in our formation to be the best priests that we can be. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of you who support us here at Mount Angel Seminary. I'd like to thank all the benefactors that make all of this possible. Thanks to your generous support. To you, our sponsors and benefactors, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Your support has allowed me to reach ordination and to be able to serve the people entrusted to our care. Thank you.